What's up everybody? I wanted to come to you with a quick video today in regards to episode 16, Police Encounters. And basically what this is going to deal with is a quick view of contracts. And the reason why we bring that up because that's exactly what a citation is. That's one of the reasons why they want you to sign the citation. Later on, because again, that's one of the final portions of the videos or this series. I'm going to teach you how, when you're forced to sign these citations, how to do it properly in a means that allows not only you to know, but their supervisors to know that there was something that went wrong in this encounter. So let's go into contracts real quick. Because you remember I told you one of the one of the reasons that it becomes void is because they're an executive officer performing a judicial duty. Well, again, we'll get into that a little more. But right now, let's find out exactly what a contract is. When a contract is made, it is an offer. Someone makes you an offer. You accept that offer. But generally, when that offer is being made to you by a police officer, it's a citation for you to pay a fine. Now, the acceptance is you, you taking the ticket. And what happens is there is a gap. Because when you sign, that makes an agreement. But in that, you skip over one of the steps. Because, again, offer is the initiation of the handing you the citation. The acceptance is you taking the citation. Now, there's this third step called consideration. Well, there's no consideration given because they're saying that you have a privilege and you're participating in a privilege. If you're not participating in a privilege, does that apply to you? Again, that's going to be something I'm going to go into, but not right now. And finally, step four is agreement. Again, that's with you signing the citation. Now, of course, I'm not going to leave you without a court case, but things that void the citation itself is coercion, duress, and pretty much both of those are means of force or intimidation. And since there's no consideration given, again, it's a one-sided contract, which is not legal. Okay, now I'm going to leave you with U.S. versus Seckler. 397 U.S. 203 1970. Parties to a contract have an obligation to operate with full disclosure and honesty, acting in good faith and with clean hands. Even in the domain of private contract law, the author of a standard form agreement is required to state its terms with clarity and candor. Now, basically, a citation is a one-sided agreement, so therefore, there is no good faith in it. And if there's no good faith in it, you can't have clean hands with it. And what, you, what you're falling into when you're dealing with a citation is policy, administrative policy. And I've told you before, or as you learn, policy is not law, no matter how well accepted. That's why whenever there's a challenge, they get a little upset. But understanding what the idea of it is, it's about money. If you can figure out that what they're doing in the process of these citations or contracts is not legal or even applicable to what you're doing then you allow them again to do their job properly and to police the community in a proper manner versus just trying to create revenue and using actions of profiling and discrimination so and when I say profiling and discrimination that does not mean just someone of, of a minority that does not mean an age group. What they're doing is targeting those that are easily influenced or those that they feel are too busy to fight. That's who they're looking for. That's the discrimination. So understand, this is brief, contract. You have offer. You have acceptance. You have consideration, which none is ever given by the state. And you have agreement. If those are not there or coercion is there, the contract itself is void. And I'll show you how to do that properly. But until next time.